Good morning. Thank you very much for visiting Toyota. I am Kato, Executive Vice President of Toyota. Uh, today, I'd like to explain Toyota new global architecture abbreviated to TNGA and how Toyota is making ever better cars through TNGA. And uh, this slide shows the image of a global vision what kind of a company Toyota wants to be. Here, the vision is represented by three elements. Fruits, ever better cars and enriched uh, lives of communities, and the third as a trunk, stable or management foundation. Of these three, our priority is making ever better cars. I am responsible for R&D, and I consider Toyota has been making excellent cars. However, the Lehman Falls served as a fresh reminder for us for the purpose of sustainable growth. We thoroughly reconsidered the means of making ever better car continuously, and for the purpose of achieving this global vision, the entire company changed direction toward the fresh commitment to making ever better cars. Uh, to make better cars, it is essential to have a, a good understanding of worldwide consumer preferences and offer services tailored to local or preferences and needs. We reflect worldwide consumer feedback to strengthen our product appeal, thereby promoting the vision making ever better cars. It is Toyota's all times steadfast philosophy for making cars, and it will continue. Since the uh, launch of first generation Crown, chief engineer system has been the basis of Toyota's uh, vehicle development. Uh, uh, in recent years, we have tried to respond to sheer variety of needs from all over the world individually. As a result of this, the number of models has increased and the type of platform has expanded to nearly 100 in terms of sub-categorization, and the type of engine have diversified and uh, due to the difference of platform and uh, drive system and due to the need to comply with variety e e local requirements. Now, approximately 100, 800 types of engines are being me used, uh, coupled with expansion of production, and such increase have made it difficult to continue to make uh, each individual uh, model even better. And uh, you know, Toyota is determined to continue uh, achieving sustainable growth and uh, in order to continue making ever better cars. We are uh, striving to raise the overall company through uh, structure reform by uh, revising existing individually optimized working methods. That is TNGA. The purpose of TNGA is not uh, uh, sharing common parts and uh, cost reduction. Its aim is purely making ever better cars through TNGA. We improve basic performance and product performance and then use common parts shrewdly with a total optimization in mind and the capital gained in streamlining will be re invested in making ever better cars. President Toyota described our current operational state as an intentional pause. This means that through the uh, company-wide structure reform the sustainable for sustainable growth, or TNGA, Toyota is uh, staying in the period to change our ideas and rethink our way of working to achieve making ever better cars. This is a period to rework our uh, development and production sites, which are pillars of our goal, making ever better cars. Today, I'm going to talk about making ever better cars through DNGA by showing the case examples. The key for TNGA is improving basic performance and product 
performance to create attractive and eye-catching cars. We will pursue the design that would make customers say, at the first glance, I want this car, and the driving experience that would make customers feel like driving forever once he or she tries out. So we will further refine and such designs and driving experiences. Uh, to improve basic performance of a car remarkably, TNGA changes the heart of a car uh, or the power a train unit, such as engine, transmission, and HV system, as well as platform. We don't do by means of improvement, but by means of redesigning uh, through new development, thereby enhancing uh, functions and performance and promoting the development to optimize the car as a whole. Uh, first, the new powertrain system. This is made up of the uh, combination of engine, transmission, and HV system. The uh, overall system will improve fuel efficiency and drive capability drastically. Comparing with the current system, we estimate that the new system improves uh, fuel efficiency by 25% and drive performance more than 15%. And uh, when it comes to hybrid system, fuel efficiency improves by 15% or more. This slide that shows uh, our approach to powertrains development through TNGA and uh, uh, low uh, center of gravity being lighter and the more compact modular design, these essential elements for the basic framework are coordinated between platforms and the key components and concurrently newly developed. Thus, we aim to achieve eye-catching design fun to drive and high fuel efficiency. This pyramid shows the concept of the powertrain development. On the first floor, the basic frames for even better cars including lightweight and compact, a low center of gravity, and rapid combustion and high efficiency of transmission that are related to basic performance will be improved thoroughly to contribute to a solid foundation for making even better cars. And on the second floor, the module technologies that will be required by the regional needs, including indirect injection and supercharger technologies, will be sustainably evolved. On the third floor, the future technologies, such as supercharged lean burn engine, will be further evolved. With this concept, we aim at maximizing engine thermal efficiency and fully utilizing high thermal efficiency areas from transmission. The left chart shows the maximum efficiency powertrain area with the engine RPM on the horizontal axis and engine torque on the vertical axis. We will further enhance the engine thermal efficiency and expand the highly efficient area. And furthermore, in order to maximize the utilization of high thermal efficiency area, we'll optimize the transmission operating area. For the improved combustion to maximize the thermal efficiency, the new TNGA engine adopts the high efficiency intake ports and optimizes the bore and stroke to further improve the technologies that have been refined through the development of the hybrid engine and conventional engine. And such basic technologies contributed greatly to improve the combustion versus the conventional engine and realize the rapid combustion. And allow me to show you uh, the movie. And this shows the comparison of the combustion in the cylinder. Something in white on the screen is the combustion itself that was taken by the special camera. You can see the combustion is much faster than the conventional engine.
And the new transmission has adopted many new technologies to maximize the transmission efficiency and realize the direct and smooth dynamic performance. To prevent the transmission loss, the clutch in the torque converter is directly connected, which is called lockup, and the conventional transmission releases the lockup when starting and changing gears. The new automatic transmission enables the gear change in a lockup situation all the time through adopting the new technology and cooperating with the vehicle side. And today, we would like to show you the video of the new AT's attractive driving performance. When starting, the new AT offers the linear engine RPM and the powerful and pleasant acceleration befitting the customer's feeling. In the gear change phase, the swift gear shift made available by the multi-stage wide gears and the lockup system offer the direct and smooth driving performance and fuel efficiency. The drive unit of the new hybrid system reviewed everything from a gear layout to a motor location to maximize the transmission efficiency. And also, each unit of the motor, inverter, and the battery realizes an epoch-making weight reduction and high efficiency. The new hybrid battery had a significant improvement of its charging performance, which contributed to improved energy recovery and deceleration and improved fuel economy. Uh, to enhance the a product performance to appeal to the feeling of the customer, the TNGA is focusing on lowering the center of gravity of vehicles. The left graph shows the comparison of the height of the center of gravity of the vehicles in the compact segment. The lowered center of gravity of the vehicle controls the left and right roll and ensures more stable and pleasant handling performance. The current model, unfortunately, is not in the top among the competitors, but the next generation model will have a top in the class lower center of gravity, and we have been developing the vehicle aiming at the top among the competitors handling performance. To realize all these, the lowered center of gravity of the powertrain and the lightweight and the compact new unit will be combined with a new platform, which will be mounted on a lower position. In the new platform, the renewed underbody and the suspension will not only enable the low center of gravity, but also the pleasant handling, high received quality perceived quality of ride comfort and collision safety performance to offer the customer's safety and reassurance. For the new platform of the next generation front wheel drive and rear wheel drive vehicles, we'll have made, we have made significant and fundamental changes to weight distribution and component layout and body framework. The body rigidity of the new frames, although varying in segments, is expected to improve by about 30% to 65% versus the current model. As you see in the video, the body welding uses the laser screw welding and adhesives to further enhance the new frame body rigidity. Through TNGA, the adoption of the new powertrain unit and the new platform and the low center of gravity of the car will change the driving performance. As you see, present lane change behavior is compared here. The lower uh, TNGA new platform vehicle smooth and uh, stable movement uh, can be seen. The image from the cabin is well 
you can see a car is being controlled well. The lower center gravity have the benefit not only on running but also uh, as a result of the lower uh, the T energy A makes it possible to lower the height of engine uh, room food. The footage shows uh, a simulated comparison of forward visibility between the current models and the new models with the lowest possible hood. Uh, under TNGA, our customers can secure good forward visibility that makes driving easier. And by uh, revising basic body framework, TNGA will realize the eye-catching design that customers want to own at first sight. I hope you will look forward to this. Under TNGA, we will also develop an active safety system. As we have already announced, it is called Toyota Safety Sense. This is our new active safety package, which is intended to encourage worldwide use active safety technology. The most distinctive characters are combination of two types of sensor that fuse data to improve recognition performance and reliability for uh, collision avoidance. Pre collision system, lane departure alert, and automatic high beam. These collision avoidance support systems are incorporated into a uh, single package. Uh, on top of active safety, we improve collision safety performance to offer enriched safety security experiences. Toyota's Global Outstanding Assessment, or GOA, has responded to changes that reflect the times and the innovation and uh, revised and added testing um, condition te conditions and methods, thus evolving as ever into high level. Now I'd like to show you a case example. The footage will show you the crash test in which a 2.5-ton heavy test wagon crashes into a vehicle at 90 kilometers an hour. This is a, a harsh test, but you can see the highly rigid framework has kept a cabin undamaged. The current test involves head-on, side-on, and rear-end collision tests. On top of that, we will uh, start a new oblique test under TNGA so that we can further improve safety performance. I have explained essence of TNGA by showing case examples of improvement in basic in performance and product performance. In addition to improving product uh, strengths, we should reuse common parts with total optimization in mind. This is also TNGA initiative approach. This slide shows the overall image of TNGA for making a better car. This stratifies the initiatives by color. The yellow represents a differentiated de um, development uh, with individually optimized production of parts that match consumer uh, preferences, while pink section represents basic parts such as platforms and key components. As for the basic parts represented by pink section here, we improve basic performance and product strengths and then should reuse common parts with total optimization. And uh, TNGA is helping to ensure the shrewd use of common uh, parts and then help a uh, chief engineer perform his duty. To make a 
take a vehicle in a smart way, TNG implements a structural reform and revises the way of development. In the new de development process, as you see in this chart, first of all, we determine the mid to long term product lineup. And based on that product lineup, we establish the architecture that is a design philosophy. To be specific, we determine how we improve each basic performance and the function and positioning of parts components to realize the desired performance. And based on the architecture, a mid to long term scenario is created for each module and component to proceed with an efficient development. And proceeding with the development in the order I mentioned is a theory of making vehicles. But traditionally, we have tended to focus on developing an individual model and lacked the total alignment or consistency, and which will change with the company-wide effort. And this chart shows an example of mid to long-term product lineup. I can't e cannot explain a specific product lineup, but we will determine the segment model type, when and which region, and so on. And this enables us the grouping of the products and the planning the smart communication of modules and components of the vehicle. Now, I would like to explain the grouping development taking the components around the driver. That left chart shows the determining elements for establishing architecture that allows us to improve basic performance by pursuing the optimum driving position. With TNGA, we used these six viewpoints to redefine the optimum driving position. After that, as you see in the right chart, we set the seat height in five groupings based on the hip points. When we summarize the lineups based on the mid to long term product lineup, we come up with the gro grouping on the right chart. And these are the examples of product selection for each part around the driver based on the aforementioned architecture. The same colors in the chart means the parts are strategically shared. The seat frame and the seat pad and shift lever and pedals are shared strategically spanning multiple car types and the platforms which is the product selection for each part. Through the TNGA's Smart Car Manufacturing Initiatives, we expect that more than 20% of the development's resources will be reduced compared to the current development. And we'll use that saved resources for further product appeal reinforcement and for the advanced technological development to make us grow sustainable. So we'll reinvest those resources for manufacturing vehicles. And including the components around the driver that I explained a while ago, the components shown in the slide are the functional parts that determine basic performance, which is called the TNGA parts. Producing better parts to improve basic performance and sharing the parts strategically while thinking of the total optimization and manufacturing cars in a smarter way, that is our TNGA initiative. You may wonder, that the TNG parts will be increased in number, and is it still possible to produce distinctive ever better cars? But we'll have an individually optimized model specific parts with a look and a feel that the customers value. In this slide, the yellow area corresponds to the model specific parts. The driving feel will be also efficiently tuned based on the TNG parts with good basic performance and individually optimized production through Toyota's chief engineer system 
will surely contribute to making appealing ever better cars in a strategic way. From now on, Toyota's chief engineer system will work perfectly with TNGA to promote production of ever better cars. The fusion of these two will signify Toyota's new production of ever better cars. With this new production concept, gathering and refining expertise by improving our core technologies will allow us to strengthen our human resources. A company-wide efforts have been put on the TNGA, and its rollout will start with the release of medium-sized front-wheel drive cars this year, followed by compact and the largest size front-wheel drive cars, and by rear-wheel drive cars. And by the middle of 2020, we plan to expand the TNGA to approximately half of lineups. We are confident that we'll be rewarded with the customer's smile by rolling out ever better cars in succession. So there is every reason to expect for future Toyota. And lastly, and thank you for giving us an opportunity to explain making ever better cars through TNGA that all Toyota have put an all out effort on. And by proceeding with this new car manufacturing, we hope, as Toyota Global Vision puts it, enriching lives around the world with the safest and the most responsible ways of moving people. To this end, all the engineers are determined to exert all their powers. Toyota hopes we can contribute to making a life and a society all over the world even a little richer. This concludes my explanation. Thank you very much.